Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, I just wanted to share with you my activity around the house um, doing some spring cleaning. Honestly, I accidentally deleted all of the footage of me doing the cleaning, but I just wanted to show you all the progress that I got done. I did a top to bottom spring cleaning um, of the entire kitchen. I opened every cabinet, pulled everything out, and wipe down the inside of each cabinet. This is the first one that I did. Um, all the canned goods, I purged items that we no longer needed. I also wiped down the countertops, cleaned out the microwave, took the glass dish out and wiped that down thoroughly. Wiped the top of the refrigerator, all the shelving, the decor, um, got rid of stuff on top of the refrigerator that we're not going to eat maybe it was expired or something of that nature and then i tried as best that i could to stack everything back up that we were going to use i moved the uh, coffee maker back over here as you remember in the last big clean i had it over there but the coffee mugs are all in the top cabinet so i put it back here it just made the most sense um I didn't do those two bottom cabinets. I have to get to those, but I did the top ones, the canned goods, and also these coffee mugs. I put all our drink mixes up in the top, glasses in the top because we very seldom use them, and coffee mugs right there because as you can see from what I'm doing now, I am always drinking a cup of coffee. Now I use the Keurig K-Cups, the name of the coffee that I use is Crave Coffee. Um, it's a hundred pack count for $29. It's a subscription. So I receive it um, once every two months. This is the other section that I did. Um, the countertops are clean. Um, all of my toilet paper and paper towels are stacked up in there. Removing them from the plastic um, con wrapping was the only way to get them all in there so that is what I've done I also took out all of my seasonings and my overflow of dry goods wiped down that cabinet and put it all back the top shelving the decor shelving all of that has been wiped clean the stove has been wiped clean uh, my as for being my household we will serve Jehovah sign clean um, all the dishes were taken out, the cabinets wiped down, the dishes were put back in. Um, all of those items, everything here you see has been disinfected and really clean. What I used was the Lemon Scent Fabuloso. The purple one, I think it's lavender, has been my favorite, but I love a light lemony scent. And so I tried this container this time and I absolutely love it. I changed the sign behind my sink and put that welcome sign that you just saw. I also cleaned this cabinet out. Um, this is overflow of cups and wine glasses. Um, behind those coffee containers are saran wrap, aluminum foil, Ziploc bags, etc. This particular area was even more of a hot mess before I pulled everything out. I purged some items that, appliances that I no longer use. And so everything in there are things that I am going to be using. The floors of course were swept um, and mopped really well. I do have a little footage of me doing that. Um, but yeah, this is what the kitchen looks like after a good clean. Please excuse the laundry room. I'm doing laundry also, but I feel so much better about my kitchen. It's disinfected. The cabinets are, have a shine to, excuse me, the countertops have a shine to them. Everything, um, is in place and I just feel good about it. And I'm so happy that I was able to get in here and do this. It's not a bad, such a bad thing to um, be home and not be able to get out because you take care of the things that you really need to take care of. So 
Um, I do have footage of um, me packing away all of this food. I'll link it in the iCard above um, if you would like to watch that. But stay tuned for more content as you see how I finished up the kitchen. be sharing with you how I prepare Sunday dinner for this week so it's about five o'clock on a Saturday afternoon 505 I'm gonna be cooking a pot of black eyed peas and making a cornbread in the pot I have three turkey smoked turkey drums that I got from Walmart smoked turkey drum sticks three of them three and a half of them so we're gonna let that boil, and I, I let mine boil quite a few times, and I'll show you why uh, in a few seconds. All right, family, those turkey drums are boiling good now. They've been boiling since 5.05, or, or they started boiling probably about 5.07. So they've been boiling about five minutes, and you can see all of that crud right there to the right. I don't cook in that crud. So I will boil these and I'm going to let them boil for about five more minutes and then I'm going to pour this off, rinse them off and add more water and bring them to a boil again. I repeat this process two or three times just until I stop seeing that crud. That's all the fat and sodium and we don't eat that so we don't cook with that. So let's let it boil about five more minutes and then we'll rinse. All right, 
right, we let it boil about five more minutes. And now I'm gonna, oh, that water. I know it's not picking up, but that water is so greasy. So I'm gonna rinse this out. Let's see if you can see it. The ring around. No, maybe not. But I'm gonna scrub that ring out. And we put it, they hot, so be careful. Excuse me. And then fill that pot back up with water. Probably about halfway full. You want the drums to be covered. So we'll fill the pot up about halfway. Now, so they're nice and covered. So that's good. And then we'll put them back on the stove. All right, we'll bring that to a, to a boil again. And we'll see how much quail we get this time. See you in a minute. So this is the second boil. It's been bo boiling for maybe 10 minutes not too much it's not really greasy um i think that's more sodium than anything i'll give it another five minutes and then we'll rinse that off and then we can go ahead and start actually cooking it so that's what it looks like oh yeah the water is much better it doesn't look so greasy still see some film in it but it looks nothing like it did the first time. So because it had, it didn't have so much, because it didn't have so much um, gunk on it this time, because it didn't have so much gunk on it this time, now that I poured the water off and um, rinsed them and added fresh water, and I'm gonna boil those down probably about 30 minutes or so um the beans that i'm doing are dry beans black eyed peas um and i'm gonna boil these in a separate pot for the first boil because when you first boil these the water gets so black i like to boil them until they're not, they i boil all the black off them in a sense pour that off and then start cooking them and i don't want to do that in the water that has the meat that is gonna actually season these black eyed peas. So I'm gonna show you the whole process. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a few. We got the, uh, excuse me, I'm washing clothes right now. That's what that noise is. We got this back in some fresh water. It's gonna boil in a little bit. And uh, I'll take you along the process, so I'll see you in a few. So this was later on that night, you guys. The cornbread got done. The beans are cooking nicely, um, and I do apologize. So tired this afternoon. I forgot all about filming after my company left, so I didn't get to share with you the complete meal or how I cooked it.
but this is what the cornbread is looking like and then uh let's see it's a quarter to ten at night the beans are done they look so good I can't wait to try them so what I do tomorrow is when I fix me a plate I'll share that with you um, in the clipping if you like to see how I did it the next time I cook them trust me I got plenty packs of dry beans I will make sure that I do a step-by-step -step. thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have enjoyed this video make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video and enjoy the rest of your day that's just wasting time I'd rather be spending it on working out some say I'm too uptight but I disagree